Hey, Caleb here from Patriot Training Center, and today we're going to talk about proper grip pressure when shooting. And we're gonna use a simple three by five card, index card, get these anywhere. You get like a pack of a thousand for like a dollar, actually probably not that cheap, but they're very inexpensive. I use these all the time, especially when I was first starting out because you can buy a bunch of them and get a lot of good work. And we're gonna move back to the five yard line. And uh, Craig, we were working through some issues with his shooting and uh, working through those issues with dry fire and we did some stuff at uh, extended ranges and he found out that grip pressure was a huge issue. So again, uh, we talked about this in other videos and in class we talk about it all the time is uh, because we want to uh, try to control recoil and keep a good firm hold on the gun. A lot of times we grip way too hard with our, uh, our firing hand, um, which is fine when you're kind of starting out, but when you need a higher level of precision and you got to make those tight shots, uh, gripping too hard with your, with your firing hand can, uh, Give, can, can cause your whole hand to dip and move, and that moves the whole gun. So we don't want too much tension in our firing hand. The other hand, you can grip as hard as you want, but it's the one that's firing the gun, that's operating the trigger finger that we have to worry about, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, load up here, and we're gonna shoot the three by five card again. Go ahead, it's on you. All right, so that left one there that's got the lines on it, and let's zoom in on his hands here. And then one way he can, he can just consciously with his brain think about what tension he has in his hand here. All right, dead center, perfect. And if you're helping out your buddy, you can kind of look at it. Like I see a little bit of white in your hand, so I'm thinking there's some tension uh, in your thumb there. So real quick, before you fire this next shot, finger off the trigger, let's just bring it back up, but finger off the trigger. No, you're firing grip, like you're aiming and you're about to do it, but finger off the trigger, there you go. Okay, so let's talk about some of the things that can happen here. If he's got too much tension in his hand, then down here, it's kind of like, sometimes they call it milking the grip. Like there's this sympathetic response when you're pulling the trigger and you're trying to do it, like the, these bottom fingers down here, they can, they can move the whole gun. And the other thing, if you bring the camera around, you can see the primary firing thumb. Sometimes if you're like really tight and hard with this, you can push down with your thumb and it like pushes your other hand off the gun or it can input to this side of the gun with just this thumb right here. So just pay attention to that. Thumbs don't really need to do anything. You can keep them nice and loose and just hanging out like, uh, you know, thumbs up sign. But uh, those are some of the things to look out for. So firing hand, you can mess with the tension there, but always squeeze them pretty hard with this support hand, okay? So go ahead and do uh, three more shots there. Keep them on the three by five card. Let's just pay attention to that grip pressure in your firing hand. Proper follow through. And one more shot. There you go. All right, let's holster up. Take a look at those shots there. And I think everything is looking pretty good. All of them were in the three by five, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, right? Okay, cool. So, uh, actually there's two there, right? Double hold it. So uh, that's how you can kind of diagnose some of the issues that you're having. This can show up as like shooting low left or shooting like to the to the far left or something like that. Because normally that's if you're right-handed, right? Because it's whatever that firing hand is, you're kind of moving into the gun. Okay, so if you're having trouble, if you're shooting low left, or you're anticipating recoil, uh, take a look at your grip pressure and figure out if you're doing too much with the firing hand. So give that a shot and let us know how it goes.